Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and friends of my channel, welcome to yet another episode of q and I play the game, also talk a little bit about what is happening to the game. Now of course the hottest topic right now is the uh, test center on the biggest update ever. A lot of you ask me uh, what are my initial thoughts uh, on that. And I'd like to share some experience with you, some of my thoughts as well, some of the suggestions that we have. I have, uh, you know, thinking about how this game is evolving. And I'm going to play a little bit of uh, Dimensions Collide for Rook, just to farm some gears and, you know, some action for you guys to see. My name is Wilfred and welcome to Stay Around My Channel. I think some of you are new to my channel and welcome, welcome, welcome. I've got a lot of very nice, uh, blessed with a lot of very good audience here, very friendly to each other. So do feel free to drop any comments here. It's a safe environment. <laughs> Uh, I've been playing this game for quite some time, thousands of um, hours into it and the, uh, I've got quite a lot of videos on the build and so on, used to. But now because they changed the game so much, I'm not going to do too much guides, but rather to cover what's uh, on the test center. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of things here, the current state of the test center, because a lot of you ask me, uh, when would the release be? Um, I, I can only guess because I'm not from Gazillion, by the way, in case if you wonder. Uh, the second thing I'd like to talk about is a dash. Uh, it's very controversial. Um, the, my thought about the dash. Now, uh, for, the, for those who may not have been catching up with the uh, news so far, they would, uh, you know, the, the, the dash would be a charged power. There will be a cooldown. So you cannot just dash around like, like now, you know, after three charges, it will be on cooldown. You will need. 12 seconds to get it uh, back up to three charges again or you just do a you know for every four seconds do a dash um, how my experience with it I'll, I'd like to talk a little bit about the artifacts as well it's going to affect every one of us uh, including myself especially myself when I play so many heroes my thought on the attribute as well as the infinity system I think um, you know we, we read it on paper like you know the, the patch note and stuff like that um, and, and you know, but now that is the first time you can get, get to take a look at that. Um, um, a lot of you ask about the heroes. Uh, can I do this hero? Can I do that hero? But you know, the reality is that the test center is very, very buggy right now. I can't really play a lot of heroes. I could read out the two tips, but it's not my intent to, to log into test center to just read up the two tips for you because that, I don't think that's of any value. I would like to show you how actually those builds work. And in order for that to do so, the hero have to be playable. So quite a number of heroes are not playable and I, you know, I, I hope you understand. I mean, um, I, I also want to do a little bit extra for you all, not just reading two tips, yeah? And the, uh, also, I think some of you asked, what's my plan? Uh, am I going to cover all the heroes and so on? So I'd like to address that as well. All right, so now, uh, first of all, Let's take a look. Let's talk a bit, little bit about the um, the test centers kind of like quality. Now I've been I've been with this game for quite some time. Whenever there's a new hero release, I always uh, without fail. Well, you know, I, I try my best to uh, take a look at the test center to see where the heroes are and you know um, uh, how the design is. So I kind of have a sense of uh, their timeline, like you know when when they have when when there's a um, uh, when, when there's a change or new heroes update and so on, I can gauge like how's the quality, is the quality any good? And like for example, like, um, when Ultron was started, I think you can take a look at uh, one of my past videos on Ultron, first time in test center, it was really rough. Uh, the robot died within seconds uh, between each other and he become just summoning the robot uh, along the way. Um, so that, that journey took them like maybe two to three weeks to get fixed and ultimately Ultron was beautiful, right? So uh, there's no doubt that Gazillion can do a job, it's just a timeline wise uh, that you have to be realistic where things are. So from the way that I see the hero that I've tested, they are even further away from the Ultron example that I gave you. So, you know, um, if, if they have the whole team to focus on one hero, uh, I think the, 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 some of the worst heroes, not worst hero, my apologies, is more like the, uh, from a design or from the coding perspective, some of those that need most work would probably need another month or month and a half, I think, realistically, to address those. Um, there's only one hero, man. I mean, you're talking about how many are there. You're talking about uh, like, um, you know, f close to 50, 59, uh, 50, 59 of them, right? 59 heroes. So you, you have to have, uh, you have to be realistic, right? Uh, to when they can, they, can, they can have all these things that are uh, being ready for prime time. I would not be, uh, I would be quite moderating my expectation. I, I don't want to 
rush them though because you know we have been waiting for so long and i think this issue that we are having with the test center is way more than just the hero it's the whole entire ecosystem about the bosses about the gear about you know um, personal difficulty slider that is coming up as well so i i think right realistically i'll be very surprised if the patch come out this year because i'll be very concerned based on whatever i see in the quality from the test center perspective if they try to just release the game as you know, uh, looking at the progress so far, um, I, 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 I'll be very, very surprised they can do it this year. And I'll be very concerned if they do it this year, because the last thing you want is that, you know, you have some, some of these heroes of build just not playable, but they have to release it because everybody's asking for it. So I, I think I would like to stick to my initial as, uh, assessment that the game should be ready for prime time. Sometimes in January or February next year, uh, that is from what I'm seeing and you know if they can rework some of these items as well that would be very good so I, I would say maybe uh, I'm looking at the January February time frame but I mean you know even so after they've done it they still need to we are not even into the Omega gear yet um, so in, in that regard you know I, I think last time I made a joke but uh, it's actually not a joke man I mean I think I think although sometimes I do try to be funny but although <laughs> and anyway um, so I think it's going to be anniversary uh, next year that it is really ready for prime time. So if you're holding out, not quite sure when to come back in again, I, I think you know some maybe the anniversary event will be one that I'll, I'll foresee. All the heroes be nicely patched up, tuned up. You know things become fun. Maybe, maybe. But uh, I don't. I I think the patch is going to be January, February. Um, I I'll, yeah. I mean I, I think that that is my that's my take. Um, and the full update will be like March and so on when, when the Omega's gear come back, uh, come up. All right, so that's just my take. Now, um, let's talk about next item, which is the uh, dash. I am, you know, I, I've ho I hope I strike you as someone who's, uh, who do embrace change. Uh, when, I, when I announce some of these like um, uh, patch notes and so on, or, or work, the blog entries that they have, I, I package into a presentation that is easier for you to understand, easy for me to talk. Um, I, I hope I strike you as someone who's uh, who's open for ideas. I'm not close. I mean, although everybody fear of change, uh, I'm not uh, excluded. But I do embrace change as well if the change is uh, good. So on paper, when I look at all these like uh, things that they talk about, you know, it is really good. I mean, I thought I thought I give them the benefit of doubt, um, and, and also because I know the the, the developer who's behind it. Uh, so I say, well, you know, I, I think something good is going to come out. From, from this thing so so that was my initial assessment and the um, so I've played the, 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 the dodge thingy so now the dodge have a timer to it and so on I, I would say if the hero is very tanky maybe like you know uh, Captain America maybe like uh, Iron Man or maybe even like Rogue that I have then you know it, whether it's the I, I don't dodge that much right so you know it doesn't really affect me uh, whether I dodge or not um, you know uh, Often, but there are heroes that genuinely require to kite around. Like I play Star Lord in, in the test center. Um, some some hero like you know without the teleport like Nightcrawler, it is really really odd. So I I say that um, the 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 idea behind it was good um, because they try to solve some problem. You know they they don't want the boss to one shot us too often. They don't want to because I think I think they they need to think ahead on the. Uh, personal difficulty slider and how to make the game more difficult, right? The only thing that can, that can make it more difficult from now onwards is to make it hit you even harder, right? So to a point whereby you get one shot, one shot kind of thing. And, uh, and quite frankly, it may not even be fun for the fact that there are a lot of things that's around you, can't even see what happened. So I, I would say, man, I mean, I, I'm, I'm from someone who has been playing this game for quite some time, uh, thousands of hours into this game. I play all the heroes. I had an open mind about what should be done or, you know, what could be done and so on. I say I, I don't like the dash work at all. I, I don't like it. Um, I, I cannot, can I live with it? For some hero, I could, but I would be not happy with some other heroes. See, because if, if you look at this game, right, a Marvel hero, the game is very fluid. You know, you can move around and stuff like that. Um, you know, you, you still need to stationary, like, th like this one here, right? I mean, like rope. My main spender is still my punch. That I need to be stationary to get there. But, you know, other than that, um, I, I, I don't really have to, like, you know, 
you know, you can't penalize me if I'm moving around like like a like a hero dodging around and stuff like that. Um, no, you can't. I don't think so. And and the problem with the test center right now is that if you look at, uh, I was under the impression that when they change the da uh, the dash, the the the, because they say slow down, right? Slow down and enjoy the game. Now, I, I bought the idea, but I realized that the bosses and mobs are not slowing down, right? All these robots, like the whole cohort of, of, uh, of robots that go after Star Lord. I mean, where, how do I slow down? Can I even walk fast to get away from it? I can't. So they expect you to eat it, right? But I couldn't eat it. Um, I couldn't. I mean, with, with my gear, with my points, infinity system, um, I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't take the damage. So I have to kite around. And the uh, and, and I think the crux of the issue, if I may, just you know, um, just just pinpoint to that is that some heroes are movement hero, right? You move a lot around a lot, and you can lay a lot of damage over time as well. There's there are a lot of damage over time hero. So ultimately, you can still win without without taking any damage. You just kite around. The bosses cannot get you. But that is up to the game designer to come up with the boss mechanic to counter that right so you know that rather than penalizing everybody uh, from using a free dash why not design the boss mechanic to be able to counter movement hero that will keep laying the damage over time layer to it or cooldown power to it while not getting hit at all right i think vortex is one one, one good thing that you could have you no know, i think those crowd control is good but then you know because they merge the dash to the crowd control they realize that oops there's another problem here because everybody can just break crowd control there's no point jailing anybody right so where is the where's the where's the fun so I think, in a way, they have to rethink how to address on this fundamental issue. I think the way to address it is to, to return to the free dash uh, rather than charges. I hated it, really. I tried it, man. I did try that. And I think they should relook into the boss mechanic to make it challenging for the movement hero. Or if you want to stay as it is, you know, then, then they have to slow this game down a lot to make it viable. Um, but I don't know whether the flow is there, the fun is there or not. I, I highly doubt so. So I think for the good of this game, you know, I, I have to say my piece. I think, I think the dash I've tried, I don't think it's, it's working at all. I don't think there's any way to trick it such a way to make it work. That's my final, final thought. Well, it's my initial thought. It's not my final thought. They may prove me wrong in some sense. But I mean, for some hero, I'm okay. But for others, totally hated it. Um, so that's one thing. Another thing is that let's talk about artifacts, right? Now, um, I think one of the... Uh, because we are so focused on the uh, hero's uh, talent and trait, we, we haven't really got a lot of time to talk about the gear or artifact and so on. Now, they changed the artifact a great deal in, in what way, right? Metasensory, no longer a generic uh, damage type, is going to be uh, energy. Uh, ESP box, uh, a lot of, some of us farm really hard for it to solve the spirit issue, now become a mental power kind of box. White suit jacket, some of us found very hard for the melee hero trying to make him or her uh, tanky become a physical. Now, how does it work? Because, you know, I could have an energy melee, right? I mean, some, 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 some of you play Nova. I could have uh, mental melee, uh, maybe uh, magic. You know, why can't I use a white suit jacket that help me uh, to be more durable? I'm still a melee, right? Just because I don't deal physical damage. I think, you know, in some sense, they are trying to go play the whole thing, right? They buff certain uh, artifacts. No doubt. I mean, there's a good thing. They, they buff certain things. But it's not something we ask for. Um, it, it, you know, it, you do things that we don't ask for, and you nerf things that, you know, that, that we will be upset about. I, I don't know how, how the whole thing works. I mean, I, I personally am I not... I'm definitely not feeling good about this whole artifact thing. It's like, uh, you know, they, they ask us to, to re... They ask us to uh, you know, refarm all the gear, right? Sort one to five, uh, because it will be more fun. So fine. No, we can still use the, uh, the, the unique gear. So that, that's, that's not, not really a lot of like, big deal from it, in a sense. I mean, I still hated the fact that I have to refarm everything for my hero. But, um, but artifact, man, I mean, no more can I do on day one with all my metasensory. I need to swap them, 1,000 1, uh, credit per, per, per pop or what, you know, I need to swap blessing, I need to unbind them uh, to, to put it back to the right places, you know, the uh, ESP box moving from an energy hero uh, into, into, in, into a mental hero, right? I mean, I mean, of course, you may say, well, credit chest is free, you know, um, but I, I cannot assume that everybody is like, like myself who spend a lot of time uh, farming for all these boxes, right? I mean, you know, so again, that, that boils down to the whole thing about, uh, you know, I, I don't think they are, they're doing... Uh, doing us any good by, I mean, I mean the, the only thing changes is what the attribute right and power rank. 
So they should just focus on those things and, 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 and leave the rest of alone and try not to be too creative. Too many changes, man. Just too, too, way too many changes in one shot. And uh, it's just one of those things that, um, you know, I, I don't particularly feel like uh, good about it. That's all. All right. So uh, that is the artifact. I'm not going to talk too much about it anymore for the artifact because I, I, I just don't, don't like the way it's being treated. Can you imagine, right, if you play World of Warcraft or play like Path of uh, Exile, right? It's suddenly they change all the gear. Um, and, and finally, some of this, like, you, you can't even use it at all. Uh, it's, it becomes the wrong gear to use. Uh, how would you feel about it, really? Um, you know, does it even fly? I mean, any MMO that does it, uh, I don't know who, which MMO would do such a thing, man. I mean, they, they will introduce new tier or new artifact. They will rectify some of this, like, you know, power rank, you know, whatever attribute thing. But to completely change an artifact in a way that it's not usable for the hero that you're currently using, wow, I mean, in the history of MMO, I don't know. They are doing something very weird here, man. Seriously, seriously. I mean, is it for the good of the uh, of the future of uh, Marvel heroes? Maybe, right? Maybe. But uh, I mean, it clearly shows that you know they, they may not really look into um, the the veteran because because I, I used to joke that I mean you know I, I really hope that it wasn't the case, right? But I always joke that all this simplification and stuff like that. Maybe they want to bring in new players. Maybe they want to bring people like you know Diablo three kind of player into this game, and they want to simplify the whole thing. Uh, make it make it easy or make it easy to absorb and feel at home. You know, I, I joke about it, right? But uh, to totally alien to, uh, alienate the, the the veterans, I mean, in that way, wow! I mean, that that is strange thing they do. But uh, okay, so the next topic, let's talk about the attribute and the infinity system because I think I think a lot of you also asked me how I feel about it. Again, when I first read it on paper, I I felt that um you know uh, it, it it is good. On paper, um, because I do play Diablo 3 as well. But uh, now that I look at how they treat the attribute and the infinity system, I mean, it, you know, let, let's recap what we have today, right? If you look at this guy, say, wow, 28 fighting, I feel great. Well, I got brutal here from fighting, I feel great. You know, all these things, I feel great. Attribute means something to me, it talks to me. And I look at my Omega system, say, wow, you know, a lot of notes I can pick, you know, things that I can prod and stuff like that. Interesting, I feel powerful. But if I look at the uh, you know, infinity system and the attribute. Now, attribute in the, in the new world, it just totally nerfed down, right? I mean, anything here is, you know, 4% become like 0.5%. But then, of course, every hero will have two attributes uh, that, that will be relevant to 4%. But the whole attribute thing become very, very, like, different from what I'm used to or what you're used to. Right now, you know, most of these things is relevant, right? Durability. Yeah, it's good because I can be more tanky, right? Uh, string and, 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 and fighting and energy relevant to my build. Intelligence is great because I can have XP, I can have, like, crit and stuff like that. If I have some gear on intelligence, I don't mind. You know, it works. But in a new world, it doesn't work that way. I mean, the things that are totally not intuitive, like energy to, to decrease the, uh, the range attack, how does it even work if I have high energy germ? I can, what, you know, um, you know, durability is above area power. Um, so it's a whole lot of things that, you know, I, I know those are game stack, but they, they park it under those things that doesn't make sense. And when things doesn't make sense, it's not relevant anymore. And things become so small. And the whole infinity system feel like being split between the attribute, right? So like, like for example, you look at fighting here, you have brutal, but now they're going to move it into the infinity system. So when I look at infinity system, what do I see? I see only two things, right? The first thing is 5% crit chance on top of whatever we have. Another thing is 5% brutal chance on top of whatever I have. But here lies another problem because, you know, if you are fighting heroes, uh, you have to pick the 5% brutal. If you are energy hero, you have to pick the 5% crit, right? You can't pick your attribute. I don't think you should. I mean, you know, you should get the 5% on top because all the stats become very low in the new world. So if you are non-fighting, non non-energy, you can pick the attribute and the 5% crit and brutal. So, I, I mean, I, I think in, in a way, I'm, I'm a little bit uh, sort of like, you know, because this whole thing doesn't make sense. It's not even relevant. If you look at D3 or right, Diablo 3, it's very simple. I agree. Um, it, it works somewhat like a germ way, but at least Diablo 3 doesn't, doesn't, make, doesn't become like, it, it, it becomes like asymmetric in a sense. I mean, uh, you know, there, there are power that, uh, I, you know, there, there are nooks that I can use and I make a decision and get on with it. But I don't need to make sacrifices just because of the different hero type and so on. So there's just one, you know, one, one example that uh, I, I don't think, I, I think if they were to stick to the Diablo kind of thing in, in totality, it would not be as bad, I think, you know. But uh, 
you know, looking back, I, I think this game is closer. I mean, if you look at the Omega system, right, this game is closer to Path of Exile than the, uh, say, Diablo 3, I think, in my humble opinion. It's just the way that they, they design the note that leading on to something just terrible because some of the note you feel that, oh, I don't need that, you know, why do I need to have that? But if you play things like Path of Exile, then you feel that, wow, you know, uh, I, I feel great because some of these note that I pick, every note makes sense, every note make, make a difference um, in, in a way. And they could have just recognized the whole thing, right? They could have just uh, connect all the uh, all the all the Omega nodes in, in, into a big map, you know. And everything had to branch out from there, like Path of Exile, uh, or starting from different area. Uh, but you connect all the nodes. I mean, because the complexity comes from there. Every node that you pick is useful, and you have different branches to it. Why not? I mean, you know, I think the Omega system is closer to the uh, Path of Exile kind of like passive skill tree compared to Diablo Three. If they try to simplify that in Diablo Three. I don't think it works. So to me, the system become very strange, right? It's uh, the the attribute. I can't. I can make sense out of it. It doesn't make sense. The second thing is that um, the the infinity system just makes certain hero uh, not. I mean, certain certain type. Like if you are fighting an energy hero, it's like oh, you know, too, too bad for you. You can't pick the uh, the attribute. You have to pick the uh, the brutal and strike. So that. I mean, uh, that is my, my thought. I'm you know, keen to hear your thought as well. Just let me focus a little bit on this guy here and try not to die here as well. Um, right, so <laughs> it's, it's a little bit hard talking about the, the, the game when I'm so emotionally involved uh, and, and, and try to play at the same time. So I'm going to use ultimate. Alright, just uh, bear with me. Okay, uh, where is he? Where is he? Uh, Alright. Yeah, just frantically pressing the button and stuff like that, then hope that things are fine. Alright, so uh, usually I do it a little bit better, but I think I get a little bit distracted as well with all this talking. Uh, okay, so uh, that is my, my, my thought on the uh, attribute and the uh, infinity system. So I don't know whether you can relate or not, but I think they just oversimplify the thing, but uh, you know, without doing even a good job in uh, making it um, more evenly distributed, I, th I think you know, it shouldn't be sacrificing the attribute with the chance. You know, that's my thought. Um, so how about the hero update? I mean, I think a lot of you are very excited over the talent and trait like myself. I have a mixed feeling on that. Now, I can't test everything because um, you know, a lot of heroes are just not playable. And I, I, like I said before, I don't really feel like just reading two tips to you all. And, and, and you know, I, I don't think it's really adding value to you. I mean, if you watch my video, you, you know, I hope that you can, you can get a sense of how he plays like rather than just reading two tips and imagine how they will be like. So I, I think... Uh, some of the heroes stands out to be rather nice. Uh, I, I kind of like the uh, Storm, I kind of like the uh, Moon Knight, but I totally understand that some of you, um, I, I can relate as well, like I said in the video on, on, on Moon Knight, it lost the kind of factor on the kind of uh, risk versus return, because in, right now in Moon Knight, I can drop my health down to zero rather often, and, uh, and I, I play at a very thin hairline of health to get a maximum kind of buff on my on my uh, on, on my damage output, but uh, in the new world it'll probably not be. But in return, it's a little bit more mobile, a little bit more better in terms of area, a little bit better in terms of visual as well. I think a lot of us forgot that Moon Knight could be very very bland when you look at how he plays. Like you know, I know a lot of Moon Knight fans there, no offense, but you know, do people do feedback to me, and I do feel that you know he's a bit bland. So in the in the new design, it's good. Uh, there's some new power to that as well. Um, you know, trait and, and talent make some sense. And even for Storm, you know, I, I think there are some good and some, some improvements. So these are the two that I think comparatively better than the rest. Um, but uh, I mean, I, I, do, I do play others as well. So, you know, like Dr. Doom is totally crushed my heart. I know, you know, how, you know, you guys know how passionate I am with the tribute, no specialization or area damage. Now it's gone. I mean, there's no no longer any uh, three uh, you know signature, and no longer you know can can I benefit from no specialization? You have to pick a specialization in some sense. Uh, that is also one of the trait design that I think you know not only for Doctor Doom. Uh, I think for some of these heroes, I found like Star Lord as well. Some tier is like I don't like A, I don't like B, I don't like C. Because none of them are used, what can I do, right? Or you may say that okay, you know, A, B, and C make it a mandatory power to use. Like you know, Storm, there's a what, there's one power that you have to, they have to, they have to absolutely have to use because they buff the power in three different ways. So in in a way, 
you know, you talk about BFRT in some sense, but then you know you also have to use certain power. Um, so I think I think some some like Rocket Raccoon is another one that uh, totally um, disappointed because they, I think they want to make him even more summoner kind of thing that you have to manage a lot of uh, uh, turret, but it's never fun to manage turret. I mean turret is is there for a reason, and uh, with the dash kind of like uh, rework, I can't really you know my my Rocket Raccoon cannot go stealth. Uh, as and when I need it, I just let the tor uh, the turret does its job, and so on. So it become a different kind of like uh, rocket raccoon in some sense. So if you want to do summon, you probably have to do all these things. Like you know, they 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 can have talent that uh, that link uh, the tor turret together, just like black cat uh, the traps. But again, is 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 it interesting? Not really, because I, now that I have so many totems to a totem a turret to manage, but I don't have any user interface. You know, this this game the UI is terrible. You you don't even know how many totems are, turrets are there still alive. You don't know how many are, are, are have despawned. You know, like uh, games like Path of Exile, you can see the things up there. You can you can see right, uh, like like how many summons are there? Four pet, three pet, two pet, time to resummon. Right, uh, here it doesn't work that way. I hope there was some way to easier to lay down some turret. I was really hoping that the trait and the um, so called the talent can can make it a lot easier to lay turret without having three hot bar I mean three buttons for the three different turret and the group as well so I think I think all in all it become like um, like uh, I don't know man the rocket raccoon is just one of the major disappointment there um, but I, I think you know what I'm trying to say is that there will be heroes that will be excited and happy about like Storm like some of us maybe on Moon Knight there will be some that we are hugely disappointed about, you know, like Doctor Doom. If you play him that, like I do, but if you don't, then there's no problem. Or Rock, Rocket Raccoon. So I suspect, um, you know, a lot of us will be quite upset about some of the build or heroes that are no longer, you know, um, there or viable, or just doesn't play like that hero that I used to be, like Nightcrawler as well. Some of you like him to be teleporting, and I, I agree with you. I agree with you. I mean, you know, I, I do feel that the fluidity is uh, all lost with all this, like, um, you know. Uh, cooldown thing as well so I in in a way it, it will probably probably be back to the uh, the initial part of uh, Marvel hero back to two three years ago some heroes will be you know you can talk to better than other heroes some build will be you know more friendly than other other other, other, other builds um, you know does this talent and trait change how we approach the game in terms of uh, build variety and you know, as of today, I I would probably say not for all heroes, not for all heroes. Some yes, some yes, but uh, vast majority is just like what we have, uh, and a you know quite a lot number of them is even worse than uh, what we used to have. So, um, so what's my plan? Um, I will not be doing too much of test center because uh, I do not want to keep making all this video and then you know uh, and people always watch back and say wow you know it's terrible it sucks and and all the heroes are terrible and you know i, I want to give uh, gazillion some time maybe uh, pace them out a little bit maybe next weekend i'll take a look into it again maybe i'll dedicate weekend just to do it um rather than do it every day and so on and and there's not much progress and we all get a little bit upset on some of these things that doesn't work and so on so i'm going to give them some time some time to fix certain things to make this uh, at least this uh, build a little bit more posh i mean test center i understand i'm not expecting things to work 100 percent, but i haven't seen this kind of quality um you know before even for test center i thought the quality should be a little bit better but that's just my thought uh as far as slice server is concerned i I'm not quite sure whether I'll play too much of it anymore because um, because there aren't really a lot of things to go for. Um, um, with, with the whole artifact change, it's like, uh, you know, it kind of lost a little bit of motivation, right? All this gear that you farm for what, right? All this, like, you know, so so I do feel I'm, I'm, I'm just like one of you, man. I mean, you know, whatever pain you're feeling, I'm feeling it as well, probably a little bit more because I'm so passionate about this game. So, um, yeah, uh, do drop the comments and feedback and any thoughts that you'd like to share with me. Uh, we can form a group here to just, um, you know, just talk about things. And uh, as and when they have uh, more news or some better hero kind of update, and uh, I'll, I'll take a look at that for you guys. All right, see you next time. Goodbye.